Hello, you're watching GB Times. Humiliating moments for British Prime Minister David Cameron. He was forced to rely on the opposition to defeat an amendment put forward by his own MPs. Now, that's not how things are usually done. Andrew Jones is with us now. So, Andrew, can you please explain what exactly happened? Hi, David. So, this year, the British Parliament has been hearing uh, a bill which would offer marriage for same-sex couples. Now, since 2005, same-sex couples have been able to enter into civil partnerships, but this isn't the same as marriage. So the marriage issue has been quite divisive, especially for the political right. Uh, so in light of this uh, same-sex marriage bill looking like it's going to pass Parliament, uh, a number of rebels from the Conservative Party, which is the main centre-right party, had proposed an amendment to the bill which would allow civil partnerships for heterosexual couples. So what this would do would actually make it more difficult for the bill to pass Parliament. And in order then for David Cameron, the leader of the Conservative Party, to defeat this amendment, he had to, in the end, quite close to the to actual vote, had to approach Ed Miliband, the leader of the opposition party, to get his support to defeat the amendment. Now, last week we were talking about the UK's relationship with the European Union. Today it's same-sex marriage. The Tory party just seems to be tearing apart on these two issues. Yeah, well, it's quite interesting that on this particular vote that there was support kind of uh, across the parties, but uh, the real division was within. So, as you say, with the EU vote, there's uh, kind of a, a hardcore right wing within the Conservative Party who seemed to see... Uh, these kinds of issues very differently from the actual uh, Tory leadership. So uh, there's some major problems for the Conservative Party. So you could see this as kind of a cyclical thing. Uh, Gordon Brown, the last Prime Minister uh, for the Labour Party, uh, when you come to kind of the, the end of a kind of a cycle, uh, you see support for uh, certain topics and uh, general uh, solidarity for the party kind of fall away. So there is, a, there is a suggestion now that David Cameron is kind of suffering a bit of a crisis of his leadership and there's even kind of murmurs that the Conservative Party might uh, see him as a liability and oust him as leader before the next election which is due in within the next two years. So division amongst the Tories. Thank you very much Andrew. You've been watching GB Times for all the latest news from our network of correspondents. We're also on Facebook and Twitter. I'm David Keaton. Goodbye.